My name is Steve Meyer. I'm a teacher at Brilliant High School. Welcome. This is the Aaron's Technology and Engineering Education Center. Uh, here at Brilliant High School, uh, we have the goal of creating the innovative thinkers and doers of the 21st century. Our journey here started approximately five years ago when we completely redid the curriculum in the technology and engineering area. We went from a very traditional uh, shop type curriculum uh, to a very contemporary curriculum to teach the entire individual. With that, we had many class changes. The types of classes that we teach right now are electronics and robotics, computer-aided design and manufacturing, engineering, and, and many others. Throughout this process, once we had some of the curriculum changed, uh, we started to get more and more students all the time. As of last year, we had 220 students out of the 330 students are taking technology and engineering classes. A year ago, we had a tremendous gift from Aaron's company. Aaron's company gave us a sum of money to build our new state-of-the-art engineering facility. As I take you through the facility today, I will show you how we designed the entire facility around our philosophy. And I'll give you some insights onto how we are uh, helping educate the, uh, the learners of the 21st century. In this area right here, we have our, our lecture room. We always start out in the lecture room and we introduce new knowledge to the students. After that, Rather than giving students a project for, say, in a traditional technology or industrial arts type class where every student creates the same exact product with the same exact materials on the same exact machine. So rather than that, in our philosophy, we give students a problem. This problem may be, for example, to create and design an ergonomic computer mouse that fits into the student's hand. Once we have given students some previous knowledge regarding electronics, materials, uh, automation, and material fabricating, we then go through into our design facility. In our design facility, we have computer-aided design cap capabilities, testing equipment, uh, research equipment like books and the internet. Here is where students come up with uh, designs and possible solutions uh, to the problem that we have given them. Once through in the design area, students then move on to the fabrication labs. Here is where they develop prototypes. With our philosophy, all students could be in any different room at any different time, some designing, some building, some redesigning, out of all sorts of different types of materials. Once students are done designing and fabricating their product, they come back into the design room and here is where they start to gather the information, put all their data together and create a presentation. Ultimately, in our philosophy, students end up back in the lecture room in which they will be in front of the entire rest of the class giving a presentation to the class on why their product or their computer mouse is the best one and the company should uh, take that and sell their product, much like they're in front of the board of directors of a major company. We feel that we have had a, a lot of success with this type of philosophy. Um, one of the reasons that we feel very uh, confident in it is it brings in all sorts of different types of education. For instance, students are learning English skills. Students are working on their mathematics, their sciences. Uh, the history of technology is brought into it. So we're really developing the, the entire child. By bringing these all together, uh, we are creating the innovative thinkers and doers for the 21st century.